So it's one o'clock in the morning at the moment and we are pretty well finished installing this 5 by 2 by 2 Cade. Um, very happy with the custom made light stands that we've jigged up. They look pretty awesome. So we can hang these Spectre 120s in it with a bit of style. We have converted a 4 by 2 and a Red Sea Max into this aquarium because it's very common for people to start out in the hobby end up getting multiple tanks and then saying blow it I'm just gonna get real one real good one it's a pretty common scenario so the water's particularly cloudy at the moment because we wanted to use a lot of the gra the sand from the other tank and we didn't want to wash it because we wanted all the good bacteria and over and so forth in the new tank so the disadvantage with that is it makes the water all cloudy but within a day or so that'll all be cleared up so the corals are in the fish are all in the water circulation and agitation is excellent down here we've got we've got a skimmer skimming away um, that other front section of the sump also acts like a settling chamber so you can get a fine net in there and just scoop out anything that may collect there um, we've also got some filter wool and some poly filter just to scrub any particles out that is definitely going to be in the water. And we've got three large blocks of marine pure down here for all of our nitrifying and denitrifying bacteria. We've got a top up system that will automatically top up the sump as the sump falls. We've got a um, um, auto dosing system which is dosing nitrate remover, phosphate remover, magnesium, calcium, alkalinity and ma magnesium. Um, the way we work this is we just set them all to the recommended and then we'll test nitrate, we'll test phosphate, we'll test calcium for example, then we'll up the level or down the level per week until we end up with um, the right additives each week and that will change as the stock in the tank changes because as you get more coral or as your corals grow they're going to demand more calcium so therefore over time you're going to have to introduce more calcium which is expected we tend to dose the calcium level the same as the magnesium so if you don't want to test magnesium it's better if you do but if you don't want to test it you just make your magnesium addition the same as your calcium addition um, nitrate and phosphate are easy to test Magnesium we run, same as calcium if you don't want to test it. Alkalinity is very easy to test. And then we've also got a vitamin trace element, manganese mix, which um, we'll only use to the recommended level. So basically, it'll take a day or two for this tank to clear up. Then the next thing we'll have to do is monitor the fish, make sure that there's no disagreements, because it was two tanks that have been merged into one. Um, the other thing we'll do is watch the corals, as the corals start to open up, we'll make sure that nobody's stinging each other and we'll make sure that they're happy with the amount of light and flow they're getting. If they don't look happy, after between one to three weeks, we'll try moving them somewhere else. The other thing that we'll do too is really be aware of white spot because um, to the fish, this whole day would have been um, on the traumatic side. So therefore, we will have some medic on hand and if we see any sign of scratching or itching or irritation with the fish or any white spots on the fish, we'll hit it with medic straight away and we'll drop the salt level a little bit. The other thing we did too setting this tank up is we did actually drop the salt level a little bit because we do find that anything traumatic with the fish, introducing the fish into slightly lower salinity just definitely seems to help them. So anyway, we'll get some video updates with time with this tank. And um, it needs to be about as spectacular as it gets.